Hey, welcome back here to the Mountain Morning Show. I apologize, we're having a little bit of IFB troubles yeah. this morning out here on the patio, but I'm here with Alan Perry from Outdoor Cooking with Al. He is our good friend. How are you doing today, man? I'm doing great. How are you doing, Diego? I'm doing fantastic. The sun is shining. Beautiful. It's nice and warm yes. out here. We've been out here on some mornings and it was a little bit snowy and cold, so this is kind, oh, of, a, yeah. kind of a nice change from that yeah. very short. So what are we making yeah. today, Al? Today we're gonna do some Dutch oven spaghetti. And like, usually when I'm here, I do breakfast or dessert or something. So I'm like, let's do this. And what, and what I want to, I mean, this is so easy. I mean, I've done this in my yard, but you get camping. I mean, this is one of those things we put it all in there, cook it, done. This is the nice thing too about this is, is like you said, the ease of it, but you don't, uh, when I go camping, I don't think like, oh man, I'm going to eat some really good spaghetti tonight. Yeah. You know, it's more like, what am I eating out of the can or, yeah. so this is a great way to be able to have nice kind of gourmet home meals sure. with you yeah. while you're camping. So that's yes, really nice. It's delicious. The first time me and my wife made this, I couldn't believe how good it was. But yeah, it's real easy. It cooks in about 40 minutes. We cook it at about 350. So it simmers, you know, real slow, but everything's in there. So it's pretty, pretty good. But uh, this is the 12 inch Dutch oven. Okay. And I got two tablespoons of coconut oil. Of coconut oil, okay. Why coconut? Is it just healthier, healthier alternative to yeah, some other? Yeah, you can use, you know, whatever kind of oil, or you can use butter, or just okay. any, any kind. But you, okay. coconut, it gives it kind of a pretty good flavor. A cool flavor to it. Yeah, that's and good. And then we can put in, we have uh, the diced fire roasted uh, tomatoes. We'll put two cans of that two in. Two cans of this in, all right. Just add that with juice and everything, eh? Yeah, just okay. pour it all in there. Sounds good. Let me open this spaghetti, but yeah, this is delicious and like I said it's just a one pot deal put it in cook put it, it up. in cook it and then you're, you're done you just have to serve it after that that makes that yeah. super easy so we got our two cans of roasted and uh, fire roasted tomatoes there they're diced as well yeah so then we have beef broth okay so we beef broth or you can use a tomato base so you could put tomato sauce instead of the beef instead broth, of the beef broth or half and half I had a scout master send me a message said they use this recipe on their camp out oh that's so but great they they done the the tomato sauce base so okay. we'll pour all that in pour the full thing of beef broth in as yeah. well yeah okay so we and got our beef broth going in and this, how many, I mean, this is, looks like it's going to be a pretty big serving of, of spaghetti. Yeah, yeah. So it'll, it'll, it'll serve, what, about a whole five, four probably, or five people, maybe? Yeah, six or seven. Six or, or seven, eight. even. Should we bust them or keep them long? I like, <laughs> I usually break mine in half. I don't know about you, but perfect. So we got that going as well. So how many coals for this one? So at 350 uh, on the 12 inch Dutch oven, which I've talked about before. It's an yeah, I was gonna say, you're gonna have to quiz me sometime. It's an figure. easy temperature to figure because at 350, whatever size your Dutch oven is, 12 inch, so you minus two from 12, so 10 under the bottom. 10 under the bottom. Add two to 12 for the top. So 14, 10, 10 and, and 14. 14. Cool. So that, and it calls for 12 ounces of noodles. This is a 16 ounce, so that's probably good. Right there. Right about so there is good, awesome. And look how easy that is. You just throw everything together there in your Dutch oven. Next is going to come all the great spices yeah, here. Yeah, we have uh, a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, two teaspoons of oregano, and a tablespoon of basil. Okay, perfect. You sprinkle that in there as well. So that's that, and that's it. So I got the coals going over there. They're awesome. not quite ready. When the coals are ready, I'll get this going, and then when we start cooking it, we'll check it in like 20 minutes, stir it at that point, and then that'll be that. We'll be back then. Perfect. So. Al, where can people go to, to find all of your recipes and inf more information about you? Uh, Outdoor Cooking with Al on YouTube, Facebook. Uh, this is one of my recipes in my cookbook, which Perfect. is on eBay. So yeah, pick that up for yeah. sure. Next time you <laughs> want to go camping, you don't have to settle for the uh, the old hot dog <laughs> over the fire. You can have something yeah. that's really good here. Thanks, Al, for yeah. always uh, letting us know. We'll be out here to check it out here in just a few. We're we're gonna head back inside right now. We're gonna take a quick break. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. Welcome back here to the Mountain Morning Show. We're out again here on the patio with Al, our good friend Alan yes. Perry with Outdoor Cooking with Al. How are things going with the spaghetti, things man? Things are going good. And we we done that last take and I got thinking, man, we missed something. What did we miss? So usually when you have spaghetti, what goes in spaghetti? Meatballs. Meatballs. We so, forgot the meatballs. What are we doing? You, we just use uh, this this party size meatball mix like okay. from Trader Joe's are just frozen. Okay, and you just toss those in there as well. Makes uh, things super easy. And then another thing I forgot, and I. They were right here and you could smell them, garlic cloves. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> so three garlic cloves. So I put those in. So this has been cooking at 350 for about 20 minutes or so. Okay, perfect. So, so this has an, about another 15 to 20 15, minutes 20, to go. 20 minutes. So 40 minutes is the time there. We're gonna take a look. Things are so it's just looking start, and smelling really good. Yeah, that's just what we want. It's not quite bubbling yet because 
But yeah, smell that. Wow, you can smell smells those spices. so good. Yeah, oh, yeah, that smells amazing. So about, oh, I think man. about 20 minutes, but we want to cook it slow. That way those noodles stay all good. Stay good there. So well. another about 20 minutes there. As Al said, it's a 12 inch um, Dutch oven there. So you're going to use 10 on the bottom, 14, 14 on, top on top there to get the 350 desired temperature. Correct. Easy, easy way to cook some spaghetti while you're out camping with the family. And Al, where can, again, where can people go to find a ton? You, you post yeah. so much about <laughs> so many different recipes and stuff. Yeah, so we have over probably 120 videos on YouTube, you know, wow. all kinds of stuff. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, you know, Instagram, all of it. So yeah, Park City TV's YouTube. Every Excellent. every time I'm up here, that's all on, on, on Park our, City. Our, yeah. uh, just search Outdoor Cooking with Al. You can also buy his great Dutch oven cookbook yeah. on eBay. I highly recommend this. I was lucky enough to get a copy of it, and we've tried a few recipes. We tried the short rib recipe yeah. in our Dutch oven. It was amazing. They, they literally fell off the bone. Yeah. So delicious. Highly recommend you grab that as well. Al, where are you going next? Where's your next camping outdoor cooking destination? Yeah, we're planning on uh, Yellowstone's the next trip. Oh man, that's uh, gonna be fun. Not this weekend, but uh, well in two weeks. So Yellowstone in two weeks. But yeah, get it on there, check it out. If you haven't, haven't ever tried a Dutch oven, try it. You know, it's yeah, easy. So absolutely. it says right here, easy Dutch oven recipes. Yeah. So, and if somebody has a question, send me a message, you know. Oh, you know, it's fun. He'll, so, he'll respond yeah. right back with, don't forget the meatballs and put in the don't garlic cloves. The meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Al. Always right a on, pleasure, right. my man. Always a pleasure. Be sure and check him out on YouTube. You're going to want to cook many of these recipes for sure. You'll have a great time on your next camping outing. We're going to continue here on the Mountain Morning Show right after this quick break. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back here to the Mountain Morning Show. We are out here again with Al. We're out on the patio enjoying this nice warm weather. We're gonna check in right now on the spaghetti that's been cooking now for about 40 minutes, right? 40, 45 minutes, yeah. Perfect, so, uh, and you said you added a, a few more briquettes kind of at the yeah, end? Yeah, we checked it at the 20, 25 minute mark, you know, and it was just starting to simmer, so I had some extra briquettes here. And by that time, see, they're just little, because yeah, they yeah, burned down. Burn down yeah. So it doesn't really hurt to throw more heat on the top. You could even put a little bit, you know, just to get that simmering a little bit more. Okay. You just kind of judge that, you know. And okay, kind of just do. judge it by. So yeah, I just threw the extra, but I can smell that, so I think we're good. I saw it I steaming when I was good. walking out here, so I'm excited for it. Yeah. Let's check it out. It looks beautiful, I'm sure, and oh. I was right, it does. It smells just as good Look, as well. it's all bubbly. Mm. Yeah, that's exactly Man, that what you want. Great. Yeah, it looks really good. I wish we could get a top overview of this because it's just really beautiful. But as Al said, this is such an easy, easy recipe for you to cook when you're outside uh, camping with the family. This will feed the whole family as well, yes, which is really Yeah, great. this is a lot of spaghetti, you know. You just put it all in there and let it do its thing. Make sure you don't forget the meatballs. You yeah, know? don't it's forget the meatballs. <laughs> don't forget the garlic cloves. They're very important. We got a little bit of Parmesan cheese here that we'll throw on the top just as a little garnish. But right now, let's serve ourselves up. Let's do this. Take a, little bit, take a little bite. So I'd say the best way, you're right, have a little kind of a ladle for the sauce. Yeah, because. And then gather your noodles. That's perfect. And then, I'll, uh, yeah, see, it's we'll still. We'll take a little dunk of some sauce there. Oh man, that looks amazing, Al. Yeah, that's. Perfect. Wow, that good. looks so great. I wish. Can I tilt this over enough for you guys to see it? <laughs> this smells so good as well. And again, about 40 minutes here in the Dutch oven. It's super easy as well because you can kind of just walk away from it and next thing you know, dinner will be done, taken care of. Yes. So yeah, that's no, awesome yeah, there. The noodles, they cooked up perfect. Would you like a little Parmesan? Yes. All right, I'm going to sprinkle a little Parmesan on mine. Let's do that. Here's you a know, little like, Parmesan for Al. Like we said earlier, you can do a tomato base, you know, put tomato sauce in there. Kind of make yeah, a thick, thick sauce there. With this beef broth, I like it. It gives it. I like it too. Yeah, it's, I, I like doing the beef broth and spaghetti. Yeah, let's try, let's try a little taste here. Wow, that's so good. Mm. That is really good. The out. noodles are cooked perfect. Mm -hmm. You know, a little bite to them still, but they're you not know, so, so soft. You cook noodles on the stove; they take ten minutes. So you'd think you cook them for forty-five minutes, they'd be all mushy and stuff. They're not, perfect. They're yeah. literally perfect, as you said. They're not mushy at all. They're right, right with right. that bite. Again, head over to YouTube, check out Outdoor Cooking with Al. Also, go to eBay and get the, the uh, cookbook as well. You're going to want to get all of the amazing recipes there. There's everything from dessert to breakfast to dinner. Sure. Everything you can cook there. So, Al, again, thank you so much for everything. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. We're going to have a feast right now. We'll be right back right here with much more on the Mountain Morning Show. Don't go anywhere.